Happy Friday, people. And so it begins. The weekend is nearly upon us. A bit of a Greg's lunch today. Mm. The staple diet of England, lunch times, Greg's. Not bad. I prefer their pastries though, and their sausage rolls. But anyway, get today out of the way. And now shall I start my weekend, guys. Do you reckon a pint of beers in order? Let's see. Friday afternoon, just finished. Well earned this weekend, guys. I'm going to have a lovely shower. I'm looking forward to the shower because I'm covered in plaster dust. So it's nice to get in the shower. And that's when my weekend will be gone properly. Just got the hot water on. Should have an off hot water. But I'll tell you what, me and little OG, this is to the weekend, guys. Cheers. Cheers. This drink's for you. Friday night, guys. I've not gone to the pub today. Um, we're out tomorrow. I've got to take Mrs. OG. We're shopping for garden furniture, of all things. So we're going to probably nip to Maidstone, which has got a, um, a CEX shop there. So I'm looking forward to visiting that. I've already had a quick look online. There's a few titles that I need. Not that I want, that I need. So anyway, I've kicked off Friday. I've been playing a Neo Geo game. And I'll tell you what, Shock Troopers 1. It's a really good game. I tell you what, it's really, really good. Graphically, as you can see there, it's pucker. It's really, really good. Good fun, good fun game. But more to the point is this. Little OG just come out and he said, that four loco I bought you, <laughs> which is this. It's a, some dodgy drink you buy in corner shops over here in the UK. And he bought that for me a while ago, a taste test from the other channel, the OG Duffy Eats. He said, can I have it? I said, I'll go on then. I said, but we'll film it first. I'll do a taste test. So I've just done a taste test of it, guys. And trust me, at 8.5%, that surprised me in respect of you. Just go check the review out if you haven't already done so. Just go and have a look over there on my other channel. OG Duffy Eats, and I've got a full review of it there. Um, but anyway, getting back to the video games. So Shock Troopers, really, really good game. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable. So if you've never played it, Go and give it a cut play, honestly, it's really good fun. Well, here we go. Um, you choose your character. When you go Lonely Wolf, which means just one one character. Rio, you've got a choice of what it's for. And that would have a different, like, um, it's got like some sort of boomerang. It's got machine gun or whatever, gas grenade. Let's just go for Jackal. Because, hey, it's a great game. And uh, I love Jackal, so let's just throw a few grenades. I'll give you a little, you choose your route. I'll choose the three. I've just chose Jungle. Because I'm just giving you a quick sort of show of the game. It's actually really good fun. Um, so basically you've got three control buttons here. There's fire, so you fire in the direction. But if you fire there, and then keep your fire held down, it fixes it. You can throw grenades, and if you press your B button, it rolls. So you can fix your angles to shoot. Oof. Oh, he's a bit of a lunatic coming after me there. But graphically, it's just so good. It's, uh, it's a game that passed me by over all the years, you know. I've never got around to playing it. There is a follow-up to this as well. Flamethrower, nice little upgrade there. But I prefer the machine guns. Let's go for the heavy machine gun. Oh, look, little sniper fella there. So I hope that gives you an idea. And if you've never played this, I mean, it's SNK. It's a really, really, I'm really enjoying it. It's a great game, guys. Shock Troopers. So, uh, I'm going to play this for a little bit and then we might give something else a play. I'll tell you what, we're going to play a Capcom game. Now, what is it, right? With Capcom games, they're all so hard, aren't they? Trojan. I, I've got fond memories of this. Happy Friday, people. I've got fond memories of this. Um, it's Capcom, but it's a really difficult game. You have like a sword and a shield, so you can attack with the sword, and then you can use your shield to defend. You can jump and stuff. I think it's sort of post-apocalyptic. Um, obviously, you know, looking at that. See, he threw, he threw a knife there. I could never quite get my head around the jump inside of this, because it tells you to jump. Oh, I've got him. I think you have to jump between where it says jump, maybe. And as well, sometimes they poke their heads out of their manhole covers. 
fat oh like he did there but oh mate <clears throat> jumped at the wrong time oh I'm not I'm not doing too well here but I, I remember playing this I think we were on holiday in Great Yarmouth with my family and the caravan site so it might have been Caster on Sea and had the big arcade at the holiday camp and we'd be in there and this was one of the games there so I played it quite a bit I never got that far because as you can see it's, it's typical Capcom Capcom make great games but my god they make some hard games don't they they really really do let's get on that manhole cover because I don't trust see I've got my shield on then We've got another jump coming up here. Right. Why can't I? Oh, get out of the way, oh mate. Oh, tough as nails. Ron Star, 1987 and 97 Capcom USA. A game I, I oh it's all in it's all in Chinese, Japanese, so we just have to the first clear, right, okay. It's one of them sort of typical games, waves of enemies, very similar to what we just played pretty much. So it's just jump. And I think you can get the weapon upgrades in this, if I recall. So we start with a basic axe. Nice big bold sprites on this. I'm assuming we'll jump on the platforms up and down, yeah. As we've seen so many times before. Nice little bonus in them, them casket pots. I have to say, this is slightly easier to play than Trojan. So back in the day, I probably would have played this over Trojan because I probably would have got more for me money. More bang for me buck, so to speak. Right, let's get ourselves in that building after these guys finish waving their swords at me. Oh, he's a big old boy. Look at him. Ouch. That's going to hurt. Let's get up there. Ah, if I remember right, yes, they do. They, they throw their spears at you. That's it. They stab you with their spears. It's all coming back to me now. I didn't know you could kill them, so I've never attempted it. It's telling me to go up there, but it won't let me. Right, okay, we're going to have to use the stairs, didn't we? Jump over that. Oh, you can't? Okay. Oh, I did that time. Right, hopefully it gets rid of me. Got to keep whacking them. That in this pot helps. Yeah, good happy days. Up the stairs. I think we'll have to push it an angle. I like the way he runs up the stairs. It's alright, it'll sprint on them. Ah! That's why it's always throws you back down. Come on, keep. Ah, oh, he's beating me. Right, if I had to choose between this and uh, Trojan. Tr oh, I timed it wrong. Trojan would, would, uh, is, was great fun. But this, I think I'm preferring it, you know what I mean? Very similar, but um, yeah, I, th I think this gets it. So carrying on the Friday night gaming, guys. Gonna top me drink up. Uh, we're gonna go for, um, I've, I've got some of the harvest on the go and stuff, but I'll tell you what, I'm having a few ciders tonight, so I'm gonna top up with my Magnus. I'm gonna keep it straight, keep it simple. And the last game I'm playing tonight is another Capcom game. Now I've played this before, I'm sure it was on a video might have been quite a few months ago though. And obviously there's the Capcom logo. And it is Giga Wing. Now I've come to this game really late on. But it's an amazing shooter guys. It really is an amazing shooter. Busy. Bullet hells going on through everywhere. But it's one of them games. It's just. It's really got me. It's brilliant. Here we go. Giga Wing. Looking forward to this. This is honestly 1999 this was. Like I say it's one of them games. Just pushed past me by completely. Uh, choose your, your plane of choice. Let's go for that one. That that flute tune. Just isn't that flute. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's out there. Anyway, let's go. 
Yeah, we're not interested in the storylines. Play the game. Get them power ups. It's just so busy. There's just so much going on. Just so much to collect. Oh. How has it taken me so long to find this game? It's beyond me. the amount of bullets coming off them enemy ships there. It's just nuts mate, it's just a nuts nuts game. Get them power ups. That's your super bomb. Look at that, that's a, that's a beast. Ah! Get them power ups quick. close uh, oh what a game honestly brilliant stuff so that is it for friday night out in the games room let's power this down get that telly powered off and stuff and uh tomorrow good day coming up tomorrow i'm off to maidstone so like i said earlier there's a cex there a few charity shops and stuff and uh taking mrs og she wants to buy a few bits but hmv the new Skindred album is out, and I saw them a couple of weeks ago in Maidstone at that festival I went to, and the new album is brilliant. I've got it on uh, my Apple iTunes or whatever, but I'm going to see if I can pick up the vinyl of it, honestly. Brilliant album. So if you like your metal and you like reggae and a bit of a different twist on your metal, it's a really, really, really good album, guys. Skindred. Anyway, that's Friday night. See you all tomorrow for Saturday. Saturday morning, people, and we are off to Maidstone, which means we're off shopping for garden furniture for the good lady wife who's been demoted to the back seat. <laughs> and uh, we're going to, while I'm there, I'm going to pop into CEX and I may well record a CEX challenge, a bite to eat, and maybe a pint. Rock and roll. In a garden centre, guys, the first stop of the day before we get into Maidstone. We're coming to look for a bit of furniture in here, although it's going to be expensive because it's not cuts. They know how to charge. But there are some little novelty items in here. Some more features back there that make you want to go pee. But, uh, yeah, all in all, very good. But this guy here, check him out. He's sexy. I don't think I'd buy him. To me, he looks a bit creepy. Have <laughs> him staring at you when you're on your patio. Mm, pass up on him. Well, I've got this guy here. Josh has just named him Nobhead. <laughs> I don't know why he's called him Nobhead, but hey, you know, he's all in the imagination, I'm sure. He's got a rather large head, though, hasn't he? <laughs> look at these guys, look. A wizard! <laughs> hey, he's got his old book, look. He's looking cool, he is. He's very old in the face, look at him, look. He's proper old wizard, he is. That's cool, I like the wizard. But anyway, Nick's found a chair to sit on. So we're here looking at garden furniture, Nick's found one. Let's take a look. What do you reckon? Do you that's big enough for you? Fancy that one? Oh dear, that's her gone. Oh well, laters. Just entered the inside section of the garden centre. Look here. Look, we're not even in the middle of August and they're already promoting Halloween. What's that all about? You're not going to see next, aren't you? Some Christmas decorations, all right. <laughs> what you got there, son? I've got my Gandalf stuff. That's looking a cool. Little one for little OG. You shall not what? And I can bop people. Bop. Bop. I said it. I didn't mean it though. Christmas is getting early. Not even middle of August, and here we go. Christmas time. Ho ho ho. 
all is not lost here, guys. I found the alcohol section in the garden centre. Now this bidded and cider, I've had this before. It's gorgeous, right? 5.79 a bottle, but it's nice, look. 8.4%, honestly, it's bloody lovely, it really is. That's 8.4, that's the dry. What's that one? Sweet. I think I'm gonna go for a medium. That's me sorted out this evening. Well, went in that garden centre to look at the furniture. <laughs> and me and little OG, Little OG's gone for the sweet and I've gone for the medium. So that's us sitting tonight. No garden furniture though, guys, just cider. <laughs> Some cool canned drinks in here, look at this. £2.50 a pop though, guys. I don't think I will be. Well, the furniture has been bought, and uh, I've just run some bits back to the car before I go and do my shopping, uh, CEX, etc. So I've taken them to a pub. I sent them in there without me, and I said, Go and get me a pint in. <laughs> what pint do you want? Surprise me, I said. Let's see what I get. I found them. So what we got here. It's like a pint of Sheps. So, little OG, what'd you get me, man? Got you Camden Hells. Camden Hells Lager. Yes. Happy days, I do like a bit of Camden. Happy Saturday, people. Cheers, chin chin. We got our garden furniture, so Nick's very happy. I'm happy with it, and Josh is happy with it as well. All three of us tried it for size. We're very, very lucky. We like it. So happy days. We didn't go for one with a fire pit. I thought it was a bit novelty, and I don't really require that in my life, because I've already got my solo stove, so I'm happy with that. Uh, I popped into Sex, or CEX, and there's the thumbnail there. Go check that out, because I set myself one of my challenges, guys. Uh, but anyway, happy Saturday uh, is to uh, live in the high life. Happy days. Magic the Gathering cards here. But as we all know, the One Ring card has been found and was sold for two million dollars. And no, I did not find it. So that's Maidstone finished with guys. I'm now heading on home. We're gonna go and open the back door, let the girls out, you know, let them have a bit of a roam around the garden. But I just looked at the football scores and West Ham are one up. Can we hold on? That's the key. <laughs> oh dear. It's not, I'm, not, I'm not always a happy hammer, but I, I'll stick by them no matter what. Anyway, guys, it's been a very productive day all in all, so happy days, let's get home. Just back from Maidstone. Come in the games room. 
Got myself a Magnus cider. I'm enjoying the ciders at the moment. But unfortunately, as you can see there by that football result, they equalised. So West Ham did not get their win today. But hey, you know, it's all part of being a Hammers fan, I'm afraid. I'm used to it. Um, but anyway, in um, recognition of the Premier League restarting, I'm doing something you probably never thought you would see me do. And it is this. FIFA International Soccer, the very original. Now, I have to confess, guys, um, I, I, I used to play this back in the day and I really, really enjoyed it. I owned it on the, uh, the SNES. And um, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. And I haven't... Hey, sports. It's in the game. And I haven't played this in years. So... Uh, Let's see how well I can do. Not played this in an age, and I think it's showing. I've got to get, got to get myself realigned with the, the buttons. Oh dear. Oh, I'm losing one nil so far, guys. Um, I'm just, I'm just remembering what does what really. Oh come on. Oh, blimey. Anyway, my guilty pleasure, guys. The original FIFA. So I haven't played FIFA, the original, right, in a long, long time. To be honest, I quite enjoyed it. It's all right, you know what I mean? I've lost my touch, so. But anyway, I'm playing a game I've never played before. Uh, a, a Super Nintendo game. Never played this one, so it uh, could be interesting. And the game in question is this. The Lost Vikings. I have never, ever played it. Question is, guys, is it any good? Do you know what I mean? The Lost Vikings. Excuse that reflection. But obviously, it's just a vlog, so we're not overly fussed, are we, about quality and stuff? Silicon synapse. Right, I've no idea what this is. <laughs> Interplay silicon losses to Nintendo. Graphically, looks pretty cool. See what it's all about. So Lost Vikings, to be honest guys, I'm really enjoying this. Um, oh, probably about 10 minutes in, second level. But it's brilliant, every character has its own little skill sets and uh, you have to sort of use all their different characteristics to solve the different sort of not puzzles, I suppose. But it's, uh, it's very, very clever. Thoroughly enjoyable, guys. Really enjoying this one. So all in all, um, great little game actually. Why have I never played this before? Why has this one passed me by? Anyway guys, I've got to crack on. Sorry, I'm enjoying this too much. And what better way to spend a Saturday evening than this, the original Super Mario. What a game guys, what a game, honestly. Still plays so, so well, even today. My man Bowser is enjoying this very, very much. There you go, Bowser. This one's for you, my friend. Let's go. I'm not talking, I'm concentrating so much. I ain't played this in an age. So, so good. Nintendo just do this stuff so, so well, don't they? They really, really do. Oh, no, get out of there. Oof. What am I doing? Panicking. Fish, bosh, bang. Goodbye, Bowser. <laughs> Level one done. Amazing, loving it. Sunday morning, bit of shopping for the missus, so I decided to pop into to Spoons for a quick pint. <laughs> it's Sunday after all. You know it'd be rude not to. Back to the games room soon, guys. Uh, my game of the week, and of course the arcade game of this week, beginning with E. Hmm. Be some interesting ones there, guys. Anyway, happy Sunday. Uh, enjoy. Back from town, guys. <sighs> so, what to do? 
Of course, last weekend I didn't get out here and clean the room like I should do. So I'm going to have a bit of a tidy up. And then we've got some decisions to make about the future, really. About my game collecting and uh, what to do. Because you know what the problem is, right? If you've got a game room, you're forever running out of space, people. Honestly. So I've got to make some decisions. So what to do? We'll have a chat. We'll have a chat. But first, let's get polishing. So back now, um, we're going to start the polishing and the cleanup. Uh, there's a couple of packages here that's come through this week. Uh, this package come for me. All right, I'm not going to show you the front because it's got my address on it. Uh, this is... Oh, this for me is a grail game and... If it's as good as I hope it is, then I'm going to be well, well chuffed, guys. Now, for me, this is a game I've been looking out for for a long, long, long time. That will be coming up in a future video for sure. Put that there. Uh, just had a, a comic book delivery this week as well from uh, A Place in Space, a great online comic book store. Uh, and I've had two comic books come through this week, just the two. The first one is this. Uh, Scarlet Couture, okay. Quite a nice little cover, that. I don't mind that. I think it's quite quite sexy, little blonde going on, bless her. But what? why did I buy this one? I'll tell you why. It's because of uh, it's Titan Comics. But beautiful, I love this style, Mark Miller. Now, those that know comic books know Mark Miller is an absolutely amazing writer. He produces some absolutely classic, um, real great stuff. I mean, he did The Kingsman, he did Kick-Ass. So there's pedigree stuff and loan. So if he's saying it's decent, it's worth a look. Uh, the next one I got was uh, Gene Simmons, him of Kiss fame, guys. And he's at Dominatrix, Dominatrix. So we're going to swap out maybe one Maybe two of the comics and uh, get this one added for sure, guys. Because, hey, that looks pretty good. So let's get the comic book switched out first. And uh, then we shall do some polishing. But the question is this. Which comic book do we lose? These are the current comic books I've got on display. Uh, excuse the light. It's a bit dodgy. But if I cut an angle, it should be better. I do like that one. Oh. Great artist did that one. Look at that. That's, that's pretty decent, isn't it? Catwoman, she's been up there a while, you know. I'm thinking a time might be up. That's fairly new. And that one's been up there a while too. So to be honest, we're losing one. So are we losing Wonder Woman or Catwoman? Now, for me, I, I, I prefer this one. That's staying. Sorry, Catwoman. You're out of jail, love. That key will work at last. So I'm taking Catwoman off the wall. There she is. Pretty little thing. But unfortunately, move me polish, move me rubbish. You've got to go, Catwoman. Your time is up. And Dominatrix is coming on in, bless her. Because oh, there's only room for so many comic books on my walls. I could always buy more frames and add more, you know. But hey... I think that's enough, isn't it? What do you guys think? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Right, anyway, why I've got your attention. A quick chat, guys. Um, I've got to... I'm just going to flip that out. Nice and easy. I've got to make some changes in the games room. I really, really have. Wrong comic book. Where's the other one? I was under there. There you go. Dominatrix. I really have. Um, because, hey, I'm running out of room. I really, really am running out of room. Right, let's get that one centred up. Um, so we're going to have a quick look around the shelves and stuff. And then we'll have a quick nosy and we'll make a decision. Or make some future decisions. Although I'm not going to I'm not gonna do them straight away. Because you know me, guys. I, I have weekends and I have, I have life quick kicking in and, and just stuff in general happening. So I never know quite what I'm doing from one weekend to the next, to be absolutely honest. But you know what? I like it like that. I really do. As long as I've got a beer in my hand and, uh, hey, I'm doing my geeky stuff that I enjoy. It's not to love. So, Dominatrix, let's get her up on the wall. And behold, there she is in all her glory. Dominatrix. <laughs> Gene Simmons, that one. I'm not sure what his involvement is. Must have a look, really. I should have looked in the inside cover. It would have told me. But, hey, ho. Anyway, so they're looking good. Uh, on with the polishing. So, the polishing commences. Let's get this... Comic book back, bag and boarded. I do look after all my comic books. Uh, well, I do keep them all upstairs in the uh, in the house, the comics. 
so I'll just change them out when I get the old new one. So anyway, what I'm saying about my future collecting, what do I do, guys? What do I do? The reason being, quite simple, really. Do I stick with what I'm doing, collect a bit of everything, or do I start narrowing things down? And if I am narrowing down, what do I narrow down to? Because as you know, I've got that huge Xbox collection now, last week, you know? Um, so do I keep that intact, or do I look for other things? Or do I, you know, because look behind me on the shelves there. I mean, really, I'm in two minds. I'm not sure what to do. Do I, do I start collecting more PS3? Do I do away with the PS2, put them up in storage, maybe, and use the rest of the shelf in there for PS3? Or do I go more old school, just looking at the 8-bit systems, SMS and NES, and maybe the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive? All come with their positives and their negatives, of course. I mean, you know, if I decide to go for just SNES and uh, NES, obviously come in cardboard packaging, so a lot of that is damaged stuff, so you pay a lot more to get full sort of box titles and stuff. But I don't know, I don't know. Decisions, decisions. Let me know in the comments. What are your thoughts? So it's Sunday afternoon or evening coming up. And it's that time. Oh, yes. It's where we choose that arcade game that I've never played before. This week, the letter being E. I'm trying to think of some arcade games that began with E. E SWAT. Um, I mean, mine's gone blank. But last week we did D, obviously. And that Dark Tower, what was that all about? What was going on with that? So uh, I'm waiting for Arcade Archive, uh, Alex at Arcade Archive, to get back to me because he knows this stuff and I, I want to see what his thoughts are on it, you know? But I know he's been busy this weekend with Zap and stuff, so he'll be up there. But um, yeah, anyway, let's get to the E's and let's see what game that I've never heard of before that we'll go give a play. So here we go, guys. Let's scroll through. Let's take a look. E SWAT, I already mentioned that one. EDF, Eagle Shot, I'm of oh, Eagle Shot Golf. I about to say, assume that's golf, but it tells me so in the title. Eco Fighters, Egg Venture, hmm, okay. Eight Man, El Grande, five card draw. Well, that sounds like a uh, a, uh, a card game. Elevator Action, Embargo, em Emeraldia, Empire City. Empire Strikes Back. Oh, we all know that one, guys. We've played that a few times there. Enduro Racer. Oh, that was a Sega classic, wasn't it? Uh, ESP, Espiral. Evil. What's that? Evil Stone. Exciting, exciting soccer. Tell you what. Express Raider. Extreme Downhill. Eyes. Right. There's not an awful lot of games for E, but the one that stuck out to me is this Evil Stone. Let's have a look at this. He was 1990, Spacey Industrial. Now, I'm always really wary when it's a company I've never heard of. Right, 1990, Spacey Industrial Limited. The heavenly world is in disorder and someone opens the Hellgate to release demons and ghosts. Now, I cannot do it in any way by myself. Yeah, all right, so you want me to come and help you out and save the day. I see what I can do. I see what I can do. Chapter one, a hell world of, oh, I didn't know. Right, okay. So I've got like a punch button and a jump button, but you're on these stones. Do I have to fight them or? Okay, let's grab that, it's a power up. Get that another power up. What will the power-ups do yet? I don't know. Oh, he jumped on me, that, that one. So every one you kill, you get a power-up. Ah, right, okay. I didn't think I was going to make that jump, but I did. Oh, they're kicking me backside between them, look. Right, okay. Yeah, what's happened here? So, yeah, you just seem to leap from stone to stone, kicking the demons. You can kick them off the edge, but obviously you lose your power up because it, it goes in a space that you can't reach. Kick him off the edge. Right, let's crack on. Let's see, uh, let's see how far we can actually get. So I'm going to use that. Oh, he says. 
I'll try and kick them off the edge like I did in. Another pea. These power ups don't seem to do a lot. Oh, he kicked me off the edge. Right, how how excited am I on a scale of one to ten playing this? Um, yeah. Um, if I was playing this in an arcade back in the day, and I got to here, I'd be like, right, oh, game over. I'd be like, right, yeah, that's it. I'm taking my money, I swear. So all in all, um, what can I say? Uh, I'm not impressed at that, guys. Evil Stone, definitely not a game for me. So, guys, that concludes this weekend vlog. All in all, a very good weekend, actually. I got the CEX. I recorded a great um, CEX challenge, which will be dropping Friday. Make sure you check it out. Um, that was good fun. That was an interesting title I got there as well as part of the challenge. So happy days. I had a good few beers, got out. Uh, enjoyed Maidstone with the family. That was a nice day out. And um, all in all, what can I say? Been a great, great week. So game of the week. What does it go to this week? Now this week, I'll be honest, there was a few there that, that are in contention. Uh, Shock Troopers won. I thought was very, very good. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Really, really good game. But it's going to the Lost Vikings on the SNES. A game I'd never played before. Passed me by so many times. A title I'm fully aware of, as probably most of us are with these games, you know, these older titles. But one I thoroughly enjoyed. The puzzle element, the there's different skills of the different um, characters you have and stuff was really, really great design and well, well planned. It's a great, great little game. So if you've not played it, guys, make sure you do. Anyway, guys, as always, I've been OG Duffy. You've been awesome as always. I hope and pray you have a great week and I'll see you all next week. Oh, yes. Now, in the comments, let me know any excitement this week, any decent pickups, any games you've been playing, anything I should be trying. Cheers, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you next night. Well, see you Friday. And then uh, next Tuesday, me hopes. Laters.